Hello, I'm Karen Rent, a naturalist for the Harris Center for Conservation Education, and this is Wild at Home. Have you ever flipped over a rock or dug through your garden and found a roly-poly? Maybe you call them pill bugs or potato bugs. Even though many refer to pill bugs as insects, they're not bugs at all. They're actually crustaceans. They're more closely related to a lobster than to an insect. Roly-polies are also called wood lice, along with their relatives, the sow bugs. Roly-polies and sow bugs are both isopods. This means that all seven pairs of their legs are pretty much the same. The roly-poly's adaptation of curling into a ball is a defense mechanism. The sow bug does not have that ability. Another way to tell them apart is that sow bugs have two short points, or tail-like structures, on their hind end. Pill bugs and sow bugs need moisture to live because they breathe with gills. That's why they're often found under rotting logs, rocks, or leaves. These tiny creatures play a big role as decomposers in their environment. They eat decaying plant and animal material and help recycle that material into soil. They also are eaten by predators like beetles, centipedes, amphibians, and even some small mammals. Take a walk around your yard or a nearby park. Look under a rock or dig under some fallen leaves and see if you can find a roly-poly or a sow bug. Does it roll up when you try to pick it up? If not, then you found a sow bug. Can you count how many legs that they have? What else do you notice about them? Spending time with a wild animal, even a tiny roly-poly, is always exciting. You always have a chance to learn something new. Happy wild at home watching.